Hey guys, I'm Emily and that's Austin and our dog Zeus. Last time you saw us, we had just purchased our brand new shuttle bus. We were super excited to have finally put our dreams in motion. Next year, the three of us plan to travel around the US in our new home. We pulled out of the bus yard with the title in hand and not a worry in the world. All right guys, so a little update <laughs> here. We got our bus about 24 hours ago. Not even 24 hours ago. And we already had the cops called on us. Yep. So we had to move our bus. Uh, the cop came and knocked on our door this morning and was just like, hey, is this your bus out front? We had to say yes. And then he said, well, you're not allowed to park it here. We asked why. And he said, what was his reasoning? He was just like, okay, well, like this is the first call that we've had. It hasn't even been like a full 24 hours. So we just don't want to keep having these calls. Basically, we better get used to having to deal with talking to cops on where we're gonna put our yeah. bus at. I want to say probably 15 to 20 people who like stopped and looked at our yeah. bus on their daily walk and apparently some kids within the neighborhood uh, had a picnic inside of our bus last night because we couldn't lock it yeah. so we can lock all the doors except for the passenger door that swings open I guess you could say we ran into our first problem <laughs> but look I mean it is what it is there's nothing yeah. in there that's gonna get stolen uh, as long as the bus isn't damaged I'm okay with it You have a leak? I don't know what we just got. That does not seem good at all. What is up everybody? Congratulations, you have made it to the weekend. And yes. if your week was anything like ours, you were ready for it to come. So we just wanted to update you guys that we are actually on the way to Emily's parents' house right now to start on day one of our demolition for the tiny bus or the school shuttle bus, whatever you want to call it. We hadn't even came up with a name for our bus yet. We just know it's ours and we get to go do some demolition today. Yes. Honestly guys, we really had no idea where to start for the demolition. So I suggested to start with the stripper poles in the front of the bus. We finally got that pole off and the one behind the driver's seat. Everything's looking pretty good. How's it going over there, guys? What are y'all what are y'all uh, messing with? I don't know, we got a leak. You have a leak? I don't know what we just got. That does not seem good at all. What is that? I don't know. Is that like I think coolant? It's coolant fluid, maybe? That's not good. I don't know. Drown there. Also, if anybody needs a handicap lift, we're selling this. Just message us if it's you want it. It's a brawn. It also has a manual thing for it along with a remote, and then it comes with CDs. I mean, DVDs. <laughs> Same thing. Hi, Mom. I really wanted to rip the floor out next, but Austin insisted that we needed something to stand on, so we went with the ceiling instead. Checking on the progress of these two. What is that for? Uh, that was our old ceiling. Yeah. Wow. I want to see what's in. Inside. Yeah. We're getting there. Oh. Now that is just blue. Yeah. I mean, all of this is just. It's honestly not terrible in the frame. We're just gonna have to redo yeah. it to give us a little more room. <laughs> Not today. 
Yes. And there's. We had plans to start the conversion in June at our friend's workshop, but because we were ahead of schedule, we have been working on the bus at my parents' house, which has been a great opportunity to spend some much needed family time before hitting the road. All right, what's up guys? Wanted to give a little update on how the progress is going on day one of the conversion. As you can see, we've made some pretty good work. Guys, what are we working on? Trying to get these seat belt mounts out. And by the way guys, this is my brother, Ryan. He's helping us Hello. with the project. This is actually gonna take a lot of work. We uh, we realized once when we started getting into this that there's a lot of screws. <laughs> Didn't realize literally how many there are to remove, how many bolts have been put in this thing, how much glue was used to put this thing together either. Uh, so, demolition may take more than we expected. I think it's safe to say you can see who is the best at ripping down the ceiling. And Austin apparently thought he was a ninja. So, how's it look? How much rest? Um, it's not that bad, but it's not that good either. Some, we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Pretty tired, honestly. Uh, we got a lot done. I'm actually not that tired. Okay, well. I guess Emily's not tired. I'm pretty tired. I don't know what you did today. I got a second wind. Well, my second wind is taking my butt home. And <laughs> Emily, what was your favorite part of today? Ripping the ceilings off. <laughs> Emily did a great job that. ripping the ceilings <laughs> off today. We'll uh, we'll show some footage of that and get that uh, in here because yeah. I mean she did an impressive job. I'll say that. <laughs> Go! You got it. Yeah. <laughs> I really can't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but as you can see, the ceilings are gone, and the walls are also gone. Well, they're still there, but the carpet's not on it. Yeah, we removed the carpet. We're gonna have to redo the plywood at some point, but that would require us to also take out the windows, which we're not ready to do yet. Yeah, so basically the back wall is still there intact because we don't know what to do with the AC unit yet. We definitely wanna rip it out because it only runs whenever the vehicle is running, so that would not be fuel efficient nor beneficial whatsoever <laughs> to always have the car running. Uh, but we definitely don't want to just start ripping stuff out and then have to go back and retrace our steps to correct a mistake that we made. Mm -hmm. um, so we were pretty destructive today. I had fun. Did you have fun? I did have fun. Um, I ripped off some of the, the, what do you want to call it, the stickers on the side of the bus? Oh, some of the, uh, 
the vinyl or the I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called either. But everything went pretty well today. Uh, mm -hmm. We did realize that there is a lot of work to do on getting this thing cleaned out and ready for a conversion. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss an episode. Sing it!